How to apply a dynamic zoom effect to a video clip in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. Inside your project's edit window, use the selection mode tool which you can also do by pressing A to select the video clip that you wish to apply a dynamic zoom effect to. Once this is done, go to inspector and underneath video, scroll down to find the dynamic zoom option which by default will be deactivated as indicated by the grey circle alongside the dynamic zoom label. Click this grey circle to apply the dynamic zoom effect. Select the dynamic zoom title to open up the properties. The dynamic zoom duration matches that of the actual video clip edits that you have selected on your timeline. At present a zoom in linear effect has been applied. Click on the swap effect to reverse this so that the video clip zooms out instead. By the end of a video clip with the linear dynamic zoom in effect applied, the overall zoom percentage will increase by approximately 25%. As we can see here by incrementing the zoom x transform value from 1 to 1.25, note how the top right section of the circle in my chosen video clip here goes off canvas in line with the E in edited. If I reset the transform zoom x value and click on swap underneath dynamic zoom, so that a zoom out effect is applied instead. We can now see that the top right section of the circle goes off canvas parallel with E alongside the project title, indicating an overall zoom value of 125% at the start of the video clip. A dynamic zoom in effect on the other hand will result in the video clip starting off with its default 100% zoom value applied and with the overall zoom incrementing to 125% by the end of the clip. Returning to the dynamic zoom properties, for the dynamic zoom ease option, with linear selected, the speed of the zoom throughout the whole video clip will be consistent from start to finish. Selecting ease in will slow down the zoom at the start of the video clip and the speed will gradually increase as the video goes on. Selecting ease out will result in the zoom slowing down towards the end of the video clip on the other hand. And choosing ease in and out will result in a video clip where the zoom is slow at the start and slow just towards the end. If you adjust the length of your video clip, such as in this example project where I increment the duration of the clip from 5 to 10 seconds, the same zoom effect applies but runs at a much slower pace due to the increase in the clip duration. Clicking on the swap button when Ease In is selected will convert the dynamic zoom ease option to Ease Out instead, and this technique can also be used to switch from Ease Out to Ease In again. Like with the linear setting, when the swap button is clicked with ease in and out selected, the overall effect switches between zoom in and zoom out. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.